everyone, my name is Jessica and today I'm going to show you behind the scenes of our very first hatch day of the year. I hope you're excited because I know I am. So first things first, it all starts with incubation. So here you can see inside of our incubator. Every tray is unloaded from the incubator and taken to a dark room where we will begin a process called candling. Candling is a process where you shine light through the egg to check for viability and development. What we are looking for during candling are clearly defined air cells where the rest of the egg will be very dark where the developing chick is. Eggs where the light shines completely through the egg are unfertilized. These unfertilized eggs are removed so we ensure we only are setting viable eggs in the hatcher. Checking for viability helps us know what's going on in our breeding pens and also what to expect on the upcoming hatch day. After candling is completed, eggs are sorted into groups with breeds that are easily identified from one another. Then the hatcher is closed and will be open in just a few days on hatch day. Now fast forward a few days and it's day 21, so you guessed it, it's hatch day. Now we're going to do a process of quality control for every chick that is hatched. Every single tray is sorted through and separated by breed, and we are examining every single chick to make sure that they are healthy. We are also checking to make sure that every chick has four toes, two bright eyes, no scissor beak, and no splayed legs. We're also checking for correct color pattern as well. You'll notice that some eggs here haven't hatched. These eggs just need a little bit more time in the hatcher, but should be ready to go by tomorrow. Now that quality control is finished, it's time to vaccinate the chicks. Each chick is vaccinated for Merrick's disease, unless the customer specifically asks for us not to vaccinate the order. Here you can see the vaccination machine being assembled. Our vaccination machine is from Evolution. This machine allows us to vaccinate a large number of chicks in a very short amount of time. It's very quick and virtually harmless for the chick as it's as every chick is injected subcutaneously, which means the vaccine is administered under the skin. After vaccinations are completed, it's time to finally pack orders. Woo! Here you can see an order being packed with white breast and chamois spitz halbin chicks. And don't worry, the chamois spitz halbin are banded so the customer can tell them apart. This box here is what we call a single box and is typically packed with no more than 25 chicks. We pack every box with two or three heat packs since it's February. There's also a hay sheet, two cups filled with grow gel. This here is a double box or a box that can be comfortably packed with up to 50 birds. Same thing, each, each double box is packed with heat packs, hay sheet, grow gel, and a sprinkle of chick food. Here you can see this order is being packed with Orloff, Spitzhalben, Silver and Chamois to be exact, as well as a rare breed assortment. We do try our best to include free extras in every order. However, depending on the hatch, we may not be able to always do that. However, we do try our best to do that with every single order. Once the order is finished being packed, a lid will be placed on it and then it's time to secure the box for shipping. This is how we secure our boxes for shipping. Every corner is zip tied and there's also a layer of tape applied over the lid as well as on each side. Once every order is packed and every box is secured for shipping, they are then loaded into the van as well as any hatching egg orders or t-shirt orders that, we've, that we also have for the day. Once the van is loaded, it is time to go off to the post office. I just want to say thank you so much for placing orders with us. You help us achieve our goal of preserving rare and endangered chicken breeds, and we could not do it without you. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching, and please make sure to visit our website to view what breeds we have available at our farm. And also, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram so you can stay up to date with what's going on around the farm.